Good evening again. My uh, former English teachers often told me that saying I had an unexpected surprise was a redundancy. So redundant or not, I think I'm about to give another unexpected surprise to someone in this audience. This association has what it's called a Distinguished Broadcaster Award, and it's selected by former MBA board chairs. It's presented to a living person with a minimum of 15 years of total broadcasting experience, at least 10 of which are in the state of Missouri. The person should show involvement in their community and be a regular at MBA functions. Tonight, we have someone in the audience that is living. <laughs> and has some of those qualifications, and then some. He's been in broadcasting for over 40 years. He began his career in television in positions that included copywriter, announcer, and newscaster, followed by eight years in radio as an account executive and local sales manager. He moved back to television and sales as an account executive. He spent 12 years as a television general sales manager and 10 years as a general manager at various stations in Kansas and Missouri. From 1997 to 2012, he worked at stations in Springfield, Missouri. He served on the board of the MBA for four years beginning in 2008. He became the third full-time president and CEO of the Missouri Broadcasters Association in January of 2013. He works to ensure that the best interest of Missouri's broadcasters are represented in both federal and state government and in regulatory agencies. He has a bachelor's degree in management and journalism and mass communications from Kansas State University. When he was in Springfield, I understand he was very involved in the Boys and Girls Club and I'm also told he sings in his church choir in Jefferson City. One of his favorite sayings is always tell the truth so you can remember what you say. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in the surprise presentation of the Missouri Broadcasters Distinguished Service Award to MBA President and CEO, Mark Gordon. I give him an A+. Plus. I think he's just done a phenomenal job. You know, Mark's a guy with strong ethics and strong work ethic and a strong value commitment, and he has great relationships with people and he builds them, and it sure shows in his job. Much of what I've learned in leadership has been on-the-job training. You know, uh, it, I've, got, I've read a lot of books, and when you read books, you think, uh, you know, but most of the time when I read books on leadership, I say, oh, okay, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Leadership, you don't really realize you're doing it. I think leadership is an instinct. And I think it's an instinct in the way you treat people. And if you subscribe to the golden rule, that's halfway in my vision to getting to good leadership, where you treat people as you want to be treated. You know, I'm probably a little biased, but I think he's done a phenomenal job uh, as a Missouri Broadcast President and CEO in all areas. Uh, financially, we're as stable or more stable than we've ever been. Uh, he has more member services available to members. The caliber of the convention, as you can tell, because you're here tonight and you've been at the convention, is as good or better than it's ever been. Um, our uh, relationship with our Washington delegation is outstanding in every district. Um, and uh, at the state level, Mark's done a good job of learning how to deal with state government. And I think, you know, that's, we all know how crucial that is. I think the best success comes when you're really passionate about something. And passion is, I can't tell you to be passionate about something. That's, what, that's what's in your heart. So if you have a love or a joy for, for something like that, then it can come. And so I think you have to be really, just really aware of that, okay? But just be well read, try, try to learn be engaged in the process. I spent a lot of time selling advertising and I'd go to different businesses and I'd sell them advertising. But when I spent time really finding out what they needed and then I created something that helped them grow their business, I was helping them with their livelihood. I was helping them bring customers into their business. And that's a great feeling when you can help people. 
I think it's a great it's a great industry to be able to help people, and and I think I, I get a real joy out of that. When I think of my father, I fully believe that he deserves recognition, empowering people to be the best that they can be, and even in this field, it can be a challenge. But my dad has always been a man of integrity and is willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. You've excelled as a local broadcaster in both radio and television. And then you took that skill set to a statewide platform where you have excelled as the advocate for every Missouri broadcaster. My most enjoyable conversations besides my family are when I get to be in a room with another broadcaster and time slips away because that's what I love to do. So I think that's a big key part of that. Dad, I just want to tell you congratulations on being presented the Distinguished Broadcasters Award. Your passion for this industry and the dedication to giving broadcasters the support we need in a fast changing environment has been remarkable. I can't think of anyone else more deserving of an award like this. And I'm not just saying that, but because I'm your son but because I've seen firsthand the impact that you've had. The best part of my career has been trying to live up to your reputation and the influence that you've had on others around you. What's really nice about the position I'm in now, because of, there's you know, 400 radio stations and 100 TV stations in this state, and I love to help them with their business, help them figure out ways around different things and problems that they have. So we get a lot of joy out of that. And, and I love our conventions where we're able to bring training to people that can't really afford it, small broadcasters that can't afford it, and where we recognize great work. And, uh, you know, it's just, and I get to watch, you know, people do great things. So Mark, I'm so pleased you're being recognized for the Distinguished Broadcaster Award. But I'm even more pleased to constantly learn from you and to call you a dear friend. Congratulations, Mark. This award is very well deserved. So once again, congratulations. I am so proud of you, Dad. Congratulations and well deserved. No one deserves this award more than you. You are the distinguished broadcaster of the state of Missouri. Congratulations. We're proud of you. I usually like to have a script so I can read it so I don't forget what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> wow. Uh, I was 12 years old in Juneau, Alaska, of all places, and uh, I got to go sit in a control room of a TV station and watch a live newscast. And I was hooked. I've never wanted to do anything else than be in this business. And I'm so very blessed and fortunate to be able to do it. But I get to do it with all of you. And that is very, very special. I'm, I'm very blessed to have a sweet wife of 40 years. It'll be 40 years in just a few weeks. And uh, my wonderful children and my grandchildren, uh, that's what life is all about, you know, being able to be with them and, and sharing this ride with them. But. Uh, there's no better state in this country. There's no better association in this country. There's no better broadcasters. I'm very, very fortunate. Um, I want to thank that, that board uh, that was headed up by Gary Exline uh, seven years ago to be able to give me the best job I've ever had in my career. And I've had some good ones. Um, I had a few, you know, I, I think it's really about the people that impact your life and that get you there. And every one of us in this room, someone's helped us. Someone's been there to give you that opportunity to believe in you. And I'm one of those guys that I think people at first aren't sure they know what they're getting until they see that I love to work and I would love to work hard for this business. And then, you know, I kind of win them over. But uh, I'm a little unassuming at first. And I think that's, that's, uh, I'm very, uh, that, I guess that's one of those things that just comes with who I am. But uh, thank you so very much. Uh, I, I, uh, I wondered why my daughter and son-in-law showed up. This is the first time they've ever been to this event. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but I'm truly surprised and very honored, and I want to thank all of you uh, for uh, 
letting me play in this wonderful, wonderful industry. Thank you so much.